What's up, Ithaca High School? Welcome to Lake Street News. I'm Cora Easton. And I'm Hannah Barden. Today on the show, we have Before Our Time Youth Film Festival and an IHS Brain Team exclusive. It's our last episode of the that year. It is. And it's your last episode ever. It you're is my you're last leaving episode. us. Yeah, I'm leaving us, and I'm going to. My plans for the future, I'm going to go to Germany for a year, and then I'm going to go to college for four years, and it's going to be great. Are you going to, like, just live in Germany or, like, getting, like, a job? I'm well, I'm going to be living with a host family, but they haven't told me where yet, but Ooh. it's it's an Surprise exciting fun. mystery adventure. It'll be cool. <laughs> the Before Our Time Youth Film Festival is starting this Friday. The festival is an attempt to try and show some movies that have been released before we were all born. All high school students are invited to come. The festival kicks off this Friday with the showings of the film Amelie at 4.30 and Stand By Me at 8 o'clock. The festival continues with the showings of Do the Right Thing at 4.30 and closes with the film Psycho at 8. The films are hand-selected by IHS students with the intent of their peers wanting to watch them. Individual ticket prices start at $5 and you can also buy a season pass at, for $15 to see all four movies. Congratulations to the IHS Brain Team for making it to the single elimination playoff rounds. However, they lost in the second round and ended up in 51st place out of 356 teams. They will go to another national tournament in Virginia this weekend. Best of luck! I met with the Brain Team captain and the Brain Team advisor to talk about their club and their recent national competition. Yeah, I'm Isaiah. Uh, I'm a member of Brain Team. And you're the captain of Brain Team. What does that mean for you? Basically, means that I facilitate uh, answering some questions in game. I just make sure they're on task during the games. What kinds of people would you recommend to join Brain Team? I think anyone who is interested in learning more about the world would be a perfect candidate to join Brain Team. Anyone who goes, who is willing to go beyond what they've learned in class to learn things that maybe there's not much incentive to learn, but just the incentive of knowing it and having fun. Uh, my name's Ben Kirk. I am a math teacher here at Dithka High School. I'm the coach and faculty advisor for the Brain Team. So can you summarize what uh, the Brain Team meetings, what you do for practice? Usually for practice we read old question sets. That's the best way to improve. But usually we get together, we set up our buzzers, we have some fun reading some questions. And so what is happens at a competition? So at a competition there will be two groups of four people and they'll play against each other on uh, 20 question rounds. Uh, Toss-up question is usually kind of long, you buzz in at any time, and then if you're right, you get three follow-up bonus questions, usually about some other topic. And it just works like that, whichever team gets the most points at the end of 20 question sets is the winner. Who do you think would really enjoy being in Brain Team? I think anybody who likes trivia will be a good person, but really anybody. If there's a particular class that you like, you don't have to like everything. You don't have to be good at school in order to be on the brain team. It's just, you just have to like something and be willing to maybe study a little bit if you're wanting to get good, to get really good at Quiz Bowl, to be, play at the national level. But we have we, we have open enrollment. You don't we don't do tryouts or anything like that. So if you're interested in taking a look at what you do, just come on by on a Monday. The Ithaca Festival is starting is taking place this weekend, starting this evening at six forty five with the Ithaca Parade, preceded by the mile run, which is gonna be at five forty five. IHS, I'm Zuki Wagner, and here with the final episode of MN Sports, so let's get into this week's highlights. Today on MN Sports, it's just me. Michael Gualteri unfortunately signed with the Oswego Lakers and is no longer going to be with us. So today, you're having the great guy himself, Zuki Wagner. And today's highlights, amazing. For all the seniors who weren't there at Pocono Valley for the senior trip, we have this clip of Mr. Carver spiking on Ronnie Lauer. Epically, amazingly, greatest spike I've ever seen in my history of, uh, you know, analyzing sports. And I would ask Mike what he thinks, but of course he's not here. So thank you for watching. See you next week, IHS. Psych. That's all for this week, IHS. See you. We won't see you next week. See you next year. See you next year. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I certainly don't. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Once we make it, I block it out of my yeah, mouth. I'm like, eh? No, but my, my, um, keep it.
Mr. Highland shows it in class, which is always really cool. Yeah, I somehow... Oh, wow. Wow. I, wow. Okay. I somehow convinced my math to A show. third... It's like a colony of...